Hey all, this is Bob, aka Mr. Reef Safe, and today I want to talk about the Neptune Triton and the reagents. I've had my Neptune Triton for well over three years, uh, going on four years now. This is actually the second one that I've had, and I really like how it works. However, the reagents are sometimes difficult to get, and they're expensive. So now I'm trying out a third party, the ABC reagents, made specifically for the Neptune Triton. I know that you can go online and get the formula to make this for yourself, but I'm just not going to do that. I don't think I have the bandwidth to do that. So I'm trying these out, and they cost about half of what the Neptune reagents cost. I don't know that you have to shake these things before you do it, but I've always done that, and I feel better about doing it, so shake them I will. Because the bottles are a different shape, you cannot use the bottles that they come in. They will not fit in the Triton itself, so it is simply a matter of pouring them into the old bottles. Towards the beginning of the video, you saw me turn them upside down. That was RODI water that came out of them and is on the floor now. I wanted to give them a good rinse. Now, I still had plenty of the reagent left. However, my calcium readings were coming in super low, and I did not really trust it. I thought maybe the reagent I had was bad and giving me a false reading. More about that in a bit. It's just a matter of pouring the ABC reagent into the old bottles and putting them onto the Trident. I will be trying to do this one-handed as I'm holding the camera with the other hand, so excuse me for the not great shots that you're getting right now. All right, I had to actually put the camera down and now I'm putting the drawer back in. And as always, when I push the drawer in, I have to hold that faceplate on or it will fall off. So here's a screenshot of my Apex at work and you can see that the calcium is showing extremely low. 307 in fact, which I do not believe to be the case. Here I am running the test, but I will run it twice because I wanna make sure that the old reagent is used up from the lines. And upon running the second test, you can see that the calcium levels were actually almost at 450, which is right about where I want them. So I'm really thinking that the other reagent had gone bad. This is my first time using the ABC, but I will let you know how that goes in the future. This is Bob, aka Mystery Safe. Talk to you soon.